Hey guys, well this afternoon I'm fishing Lake Tolunde, just passing through, so I thought I'd have a quick fish. There's been a lot of big carp here lately, so I'm just going to fish some worms, try to get a few big carp for crayfish bait. Righto, so using pretty heavy gear, just so we're not wasting too much time fighting them, so I can get them in quick and catch another one. Um, 16 pound leader, little circle hook, simple paternoster rig, pretty heavy sinker, seeing it's so windy. Put some scrubbies on. I've got some corn too in case I decide to use that, but we'll start off with some of Troy's scrub worms, they work really well. Let's hook them singly. Bit of cheese scent, striker's cheese scent, carp love this, all fish love this. Cast out, out there. Beautiful. First trap set. Another pattern oster rig, pretty heavy line. Probably 20 pound line, 16 pound litre. Get them in quick. Singly hook the scrubby like that. Beautiful. Traps are set. Now we just wait and hope they don't pull the rods in. <laughs> Here's a good one. Yes. Here's a big carp. Big Tuondo carp. Circle hook just pinned him there. That's no, not too bad to hook up. The little one will be trout. Yeah, a little rainbow trout. <laughs> Nice little trout. We'll let him go. Good one there. Oh. Oh. Off he goes. He's off. Feel that weed off the line somehow. Weed all over that line to get that weed off there, right? Got the weed off. Gonna get around that pipe there. Where is he? He's a big one. Let him go. Snagged me on that tree if I'm not too careful. Must be a big one.
Got in. Here's another big one. Big Tolondo carp. There we go. Big fish. Good fight. They fight good in this rough water. Here we go, Tolondo carp. Hopefully this time next year we're getting trout that size. Just had a ripping bite. And he's still on there. Nearly pulled the rod out of the holder. Got him. <laughs> Big carp. like going into that structure on the left. Keep the weed and stuff on the line, but he's going the right way. I've got him out of a danger area. Where is he? There's heaps of flooded trees and stuff under there, so I keep him up high. Easy that one. Catch him quick and get another one here. Big carp, let's get another one. Be a great spot to take the kids fishing if they haven't caught many big fish before and just want to get them onto some large fish, practice fighting fish. Great spot to take the kids fishing just to get them used to catching large fish. These carp are pretty easy to catch. Just need some worms, corn, and that one about <laughs> there we go there we go heaps of doubt Good up. Another carp. A few around. Had a nice trout just following the worms when I was checking the boat. Wasn't too small a fish either, it was a good sized brown trout, so. Just put on our ambush plastic rhubarb paddle tail. And the striker's sent. Let's see if we can catch him. I'll let him go. He did look like he was a bad size. He looked pretty fired up, so I should be able to catch him. Got him. <laughs> oh, I lost him. Yeah. 
Yep, got him. Oh, he got off. Oh no, I got him. There he goes. It's her rainbow. Not a bad fish, actually. In all that weed. So they've grown to a good size already, these Tolondo trout. Got a pipe there to get him over. Only for being a good fish and swim over it for me. Ambush plastic for the win. This is better than carp fishing. Tolondo's back. It's a bit tricky getting him over that pipe. Got him over the pipe. I've only hooked him in the side of the head. Not a bad trout, actually. There we go. Ambush plastic, rainbow trout. Off he goes. <laughs> Is that one though brown? I reckon that might be the brown. Oh, that's a rainbow. <laughs> There's a few there. I'll release this guy quickly. Fish. Beautiful. Let him go. He goes. Let him. <laughs> They're good fun. They're not too bad a size. Over the pipe. Oh no. He's tangled up on the pipe. Oh, we got him back around it. Got him right over the pipe. He was caught on it. It's a nice trout. They're yeah, good size. Beautiful. Off he goes. There's one. <laughs> there they go. Oh, he's way out there. Might be the big one we're after. Oh, I can feel it on that tree out there. Little line going over all the structure. Oh no. They get him out of there. Yeah, he's a big one. Not too bad. Oh, 
but he knows what the net's all about. Try to get him again. No, it's a fighter. This one. You get the odd one that fights a bit better than the others. Again, it's just about ready now, I reckon. Got him. Not a bad one. A bit bigger. Yeah, it's a big one. Lots of carp around. It's a big one, that one. Another one out of the system. These circle hooks get them really good, pinned really nicely. Just a simple running sinker rig, that's all I'm doing now. It's not getting caught in the snags that way. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it is a carp. i just seen it though, it looks skinny like a trout. Unless it's a bigger trout. I don't think they're this big though. There's one on that rod, where I've just gone over it. What do we got? Ah, it's a car, I reckon. That'll be a car. Might have tangled the other rod. The wind's died down for a bit. It's supposed to come up a bit later though. It's not too bad with the wind died down though. It's quite good now. Good weather. Get him away from that other rod. Ah, oh, he had to tangle it. Had to tangle it around in circles and really make a mess. Got him. Another carp out of the system. Just a little guy. Just a little one. Made a mess of the other rod, I better untangle it. There we go, Tolondo carp fishing with a few bonus trout thrown in. Be an ideal spot to take the kids fishing, it's really good fun, pretty easy, just use worms. Running sinker rigs, probably the best. Had an oster rig kept getting snagged and that, so yeah, really good spot to take the kids fishing. Easy fishing, good fun anyway. Thanks for watching and we'll catch us on the next video.